as the waters on Lake Victoria continues to flap in abundance of saturation and outflow. A regional organization with an oversight role says fish stocks could now grow by 30 percent. Especially in the Nile Patch and the Mukene, which stay in the open pelagic waters because they feel free, the space is now increased, the space which was otherwise a limiting factor now becomes abundant and they can increase and multiply well. But the ones which breed in the inshore shallow areas, the sandy areas, like tilapia are the ones that are likely to be impacted by this, uh, these levels because they, these shallow areas are being submerged and the water is moving and even those fishes that breed in the vegetation, uh, near vegetation are likely to lose area, uh, areas where they breed because some of them are being broken off the land and taken away as floating sands. Dr. Anthony Munyao, the Deputy Executive Secretary at the Lake Victoria Fisheries Organization, who was speaking on the 2019 acoustic survey on Lake Victoria, discloses that major stocks rose by 21%, in part being attributed to compliance and better data analysis. The overall stocks of the fish in the lake from about 2.1 million tons in 2018 to 2.7 million tons in 2019. Of that increase, Nile Patch recorded the highest of about 48% increase from 0.55 million tons to 0.84 million tons. Mukene, which is now also the most abundant in the, in the whole lake, also increased uh, by 42% from about uh, 0.67 million tons to 0.94 million tons. Apart from the internal consumption of fish in abundance, Exports of semi-processed fish, estimated at 30 percent, generates the economy nearly $134 million annually. Reina Ojun, NTV Business.